Hi, my name is Dr. Martin Gorman and I'm here to talk to you about Myobrace. It's a relatively new orthodontic procedure that really deals with functional biology. It turns out that most young kids as they develop, they really have some myofunctional habits that are soft tissue related. For example, they don't have proper lip seal, they breathe through the mouth, they don't nasal breathe with their diaphragm, and they don't swallow correctly. The tongue should go up in a certain manner, like that when you swallow, the tongue goes up, and you don't have any chin action, chin muscle action that you see. So with kids, with my, their myobrace system, it really addresses these, the myofunctional issues that kids have in development, and once you correct the, the issues that kids are having, they start growing, their jars start growing on their own biologically. And what happens is, in, in myobrace, you don't need first bicuspid extractions. The teeth they take out here, and because the jaw is growing to its natural genetic potential, is room for the teeth to come into the arch. And really the big reason why our kids don't develop today really goes back to the you know, early 1900s and, and on with bottle feeding, pacifiers and thumb sucking really contribute to the myofunctional habits. And number two, with, with our diet and the, and the air we breathe and the hormones and pesticides and, and even to a degree some of the uh, injections we get to help limit diseases, it really affects our, our, our jaw growth. So most kids don't grow naturally. Now, a study was done in 1950 that shows that people that live in indigenous areas like in Africa and South America, where they live off the land, hunt their food, grow their vegetables, and go fishing in the ocean, where everything is naturally grown, they don't have breathing problems, they don't have crowded teeth. Since we're in America and we have these inherent problems in our culture, we have the first stage of myobrace, which is the three to five year olds, very small, very soft, has a protective sleeve so they can't swallow it, and it has this little tab here, and the children are taught to keep their tongue on the tab and swallow with lip seal and breathe their nose with a diaphragm. And they come back to the office on a monthly basis to learn how to, like I said, proper lip seal, proper swallowing, and proper nasal breathing. As the kids grow, the appliances get a little bit larger, but they're very soft. They're only worn for an hour every day when you're exercising and when the child goes to sleep. The appliances never leave the home. And as they get larger, they get a little firmer to add a little more guidance and a little more structure to the development of the upper jaw. And when you're growing naturally and you're treating the upper jaw with the tongue going up and widening the jaw, you have a larger arc for the teeth to fill into and there's no bicuspid extractions. And then the last appliance really has little slots, indentations, that the teeth fit into and at the end really get guided into proper location. So it comes out where there's really just a very small percentage of children need additional orthodontic treatment. The myobrace system usually takes a year to year and a quarter for the average child to go through, so it's half the time of traditional orthodontic treatment. There's no wires, there's no brackets. So with myobrace, rarely is there retention and rarely is, is there any other adjunct orthodontic procedure necessary. It's probably about 98% of people go through the myobrace, everything fills in, their bite's great, their aesthetics are great, and they're growing naturally, and their airways are really large and developed, and there's little chance of anyone getting any kind of sleep issues like the sleep apnea as they grow and mature.